Hallelujah, everybody. Got some new books here to show off, and I'm pretty excited. We uh, just sold our old car, which is nice, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Made some money back on the new car we bought, so feeling pretty good. And uh, I got some awesome books, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Going away for the weekend, a couple of days, feeling pretty good about that. My son's turning two, so we're going for his birthday party. Uh, yeah, so life's rolling along and it's going pretty well. Um, also discovered a new comic book store pretty close to where I work, which uh, had a very vast selection. Now, uh, got a few books from there for a pretty good deal. When I went in, right off the bat, it looks a lot more like a magic card type store with like uh, a lot more games and hobbies and stuff. And uh, off to the side, they had another, it looked like a little room, but when I walked in, it was pretty huge. And they had lots of big, long boxes, like, way down, lots of stuff. Alphabetical-ish. They claim it's alphabetical, but it's pretty disorganized, which in some ways is nice because it means stuff can slip through the cracks and you can find it. Uh, but in other ways, it's kind of annoying and it's a bit time-consuming going through everything. But, um, yeah, what the, uh, the first thing I looked at was their case. They had a glass case with some books. And the first book I looked at was New Mutants 87. It's a, it was being sold for $22 and it said 9.8 on the sticker and it was clearly not a 9.8. It was just like beat up all around the edges. There was just it, I don't know a lot about grading, but there was by no stretch of the imagination this was a 9.8. And 22 bucks. I think I bought the same book that actually is probably a 9.8 for 15 at my other shop. So that's my first impression of this place. So I was not super excited seeing that. But uh, I went through a few of their boxes and I was able to find some okay stuff. So show sure what I got. So this is one of the best things I got. This is the Saga of the Swamp Thing number 25. So this is the first cameo appearance of John Constantine. Um... I don't know if it even says that in the book, and he's unnamed. I I flipped through to try and find it real quick, but uh, I couldn't I couldn't uh, find it, and I I didn't really want to flip through too much because it's in a really good shape. It says nine point four. I'm gonna have to look at uh, Etonic's videos on uh, nine point four there to figure this out because like there's light wear along the spine. It's hard to see, but when you look at it. Uh, like especially along the staples and stuff, but there's a few just little white nicks in there. So I don't know how far that brings it down, but uh, besides that, and there's like a very slight little crease along here. So I don't know if it actually is a 9.4, but it was 14 bucks. And besides that, it's really crisp. All the corners are really crisp and the colors are really nice. And inside the pages are nice and white. So... I'm really happy to have this book. This is my first Swamp Thing book. And guys, this one is awesome just from looking in it. Like, random stranger walks up to a guy and is talking to him and says, just so you know, at 6.55 this evening, you're going to be impaled by a goldfish or by, by a swordfish. And sure enough, as you go through the, the issue, you see this guy getting impaled by a swordfish. So just like those two little scenes there, which that was literally from me just thumbing through looking for looking for Constantine, got me like intrigued by this book. So, you know, it's Alan Moore. He's one of my favorite writers and everyone says good things about Swamp Thing. So those two panels are probably going to end up getting me some trade into some trade paperbacks to read this series because, uh, yeah, it seems pretty neat. So, yeah, really excited about this book. Uh, thanks. I think that was Mercenaut who mentioned that this is the, the cameo appearance of John Constantine. And not many people seem to know that. Like, it, I googled it to try to find where the actual page was, and I couldn't even find it. But there were people talking about it, so it is true. But, yeah, so excited about that book. Number two, this one was just in totally the wrong spot in a random place. This is uh, Deadpool number one of the Circle Chase miniseries. So this is Deadpool's first miniseries. And this book is surprisingly cheap. This is a super nice copy, guys. I opened this up. This is probably near mint. There's a very slight bump right here, um, which might lower the grade. It's kind of, you can only see it if you like reflect it up against the light. Um, 
but it's it's made from like a harder harder cardboard type cover so which is nice it doesn't bend and it doesn't get marked up as easily but i think i looked online because i bought this he gave it to me for cover price there was no sticker on it so i bought it for two dollars and fifty cents and i looked online and it seemed like they were going for both the same um and i read through it he's kind of cracking wise like spider-man a little bit but he's not doesn't seem as insane at this point so i don't know uh if it was that other series where he kind of goes a little more insane and breaks the fourth wall knows he's uh knows he's a, a superhero but yeah excited to get that book for 250 like hard hard to beat there big deadpool fan and another copy of x-men Unca uncanny x-men 282 first appearance of bishop uh, i think it's kind of a cameo appearance inside but he's on the cover so i guess it counts um i bought a way crappier version of this one for seven bucks the other day it has like white gunk all in this circle. There's kind of, it looks like gunk. But in this one, this is like mint and it was $2.50. So, and the other one I think is the, uh, the newsstand variant. So now I got both. Uh, yeah, so have to get that. Also picked up a few back issues of Amazing Spider-Man Civil War. This Civil War stuff is so cheap, I guess because it's recent still, or maybe it's popular. But I think this is one of the events I actually really liked. And I love this suit. I love the Iron Man Spidey suit. So, so what did I have there? Sorry, 536, 535, 534. All right, so newer YouTuber named Peter Parker put up a video posting a few sort of random books to look for. And this is Star Wars number 42. So significance of this is this is the first appearance of Boba Fett in comics so boba fett huge fan favorite kind of cult following behind him uh 87 boba fett 78 boba fett, 87 boba fett youtuber um yeah so this book is pretty low grade i got it for three bucks but these are selling for this would probably i could sell for easily 10 bucks on youtube uh or more so this is probably uh i don't know good very good book um not much to say about it. it just kind of follows the Star Wars story so this is in the middle of Empire Strikes Back when you first meet the bounty hunters the thing with Boba Fett is I think he was kind of cool when he was a little more when you didn't know any of his backstory I think like the the early what are they called the prequels totally ruined him he just made him so lame that annoying kid and I don't know the clones and all that like they just try to make such a big thing out of all these characters when it's kind of the subtle, the fact that you don't know his past and stuff that makes him so cool, I think, because you fill in the blanks and make him your own awesome character. But yeah, so keep your eyes out for that one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 363, uh, part of the earlier Carnage stuff. <laughs> My store had like 10 of these books sitting in the in the case. Uh, this is the newsstand variant. And like eight bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks. <laughs> I saw one didn't have a label. So whenever he doesn't label them, uh, he just sells them for cover price. So maybe I wasn't being super honest there, but I gave him tons of business. So <laughs> he gave it to me for cover price anyways. But yeah, that's near mint copy. Uh, my last video, I had Nightwing's first miniseries. Uh, this is Nightwing's first uh, ongoing series. So this one came out the next year. I think it was 1996. And he goes to a city outside of Gotham called, is it Bludheim or something, I think? Um, and it's sort of a crappy, nefarious city that's even worse than Gotham on the outskirts. Uh, yeah, so good little story. He gets his, his ponytail cut off uh, in the middle of a fight, I guess, showing that that's going away, which is always nice because 80s hair always bugs me in comics. I don't know about you guys, but... It just seems so ugly. But yeah, I got this. Sorry, i talk a little more about this. This is a near mint copy. I got it for 12 bucks. Found it at my, my local store. So, happy with that. Uh, back to the new comic store. Uh, Cloak and Dagger, first appearance. This is Peter Parker of the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 64. Uh, I already have a copy of this. Slightly better grade, but this one was a dollar, so... I figure, why not? Cloak and Dagger. I think they're kind of a cool little team. 
interesting backstory. Uh, they have a cool, cool appearance in the current Cataclysm storyline. And another Peter Parker recommendation here was uh, the early Amazing Spider-Man Volume Two books. Uh, these are the kind of easier ones to get, as he says. They sort of they get harder and harder to find the farther you go in. So I got number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Oh, and I got one more copy of Star Wars. So this one's like a really nice, uh, I don't know, very fine near mint copy of star wars number 42 from that other store so that was he had it for seven bucks uh so i didn't he knocked five dollars off everything i bought which was a bunch of that spidey most of what you saw just now so i got most of that stuff for about forty dollars total so pretty good deals uh had to do a bit of hunting couldn't find tons but i was happy with what i got so yeah, tomorrow I'll pick up my new comics because I didn't get them today and probably do a review of those. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, may the force be with you.